if the deceased had requested in his will for him to be buried inside the masjid, the will is not executed. If he had requested in his will for anything which was haram, it cannot be executed. And then after this, after paying off these things, then we distribute the inheritance. And nowadays, it's prevalent, the practice which is prevalent, that if the deceased leaves behind a house, he leaves it behind for his wife and his youngest child. And this is something which is not permitted. Rather, we have to distribute the inheritance according to the laws which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set. And the majority of problems nowadays between family members is because of inheritance. So as we mentioned, if a person passes away and leaves behind, and leaves behind wealth, then these four steps in this sequence, have, the wealth has to be deducted. Firstly, we deduct from his wealth the amount which is required for his funeral procession, the burial, the transport, and everything which is associated from it. Secondly, we have to pay off his debts. And these are his debts towards other people and also his debts with Allah, like the Sheikh mentioned, kafaran, expiations, and, and nadur, and so on and so forth. And then the third step is if he left behind a wasiya, a bequest, which does not contain haram, this has to also be executed. And then after this is the fourth step, and that is for the wealth to be distributed according to the laws of inheritance.